Hello guys and welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 15. Inside this video session guys we will see that how can we insert data in tables on plugin activation. In the last two videos we had seen that how can we create table on plugin activation. So inside those tables we are going to dump data or insert data while activating plugin. Let's say that we have a plugin and inside that plugin we have let's say 10 tables. Inside those 10 tables we have a country table. Inside country table we want that all the entries of country by default we have on plugin activation. So we need to write about the insert data in country table along with the create table command. If I back to browser, so inside last two videos, these are the two tables called WPDB, TBL books and TBL book self we had created. Now let's say that inside this table that is TBL book self, we want some default values. Back to editor. Now inside last video, this is the actually code we had written for the book self and this is all about create command. So inside this block we are going to also add about insert data command so that after creating this self table we want some dummy value or some let's say real time values in it. So simply to insert data inside this book self table we will use the method what we have studied and discussed that is WPTB insert method. Also we can use the raw query. So let's say that we are going to use inside this raw query to insert data. So remember first thing first we need to declare a variable for that insert query and here inside this insert query we need to write our raw query to insert data. And finally, we need to execute call WPDB query and inside this, we need to pass this variable. Now let's say that I'm going to write our insert query inside this double quotes. So let's say that insert into and the table name we have called if I copy this method, pasting it here. So insert into table name and let's pass our column values. So column name, something let's say self name, pasting it here, capacity, pasting it here, status or self location, copy and paste, status, copy and paste and let's pass our values. So passing it here. For the self name, let's say that and remember it should be varchar. So we have to pass value as a string value. So let's say that self1, comma, for the second value that is capacity, let's say that it will take about 230 books in it. In the next, we need to pass self location. So let's say that center left, this is the location or simply let's say left corner and the next we need to pass a status so status should be one it means that this self is in working condition now if we want to actually insert more than one value more than one row inside this table so just separate with comma copy and paste this row again let's say that self2 it will contain about 300 books. Let's right corner and status should be 1. Again, I'm going to copy and paste this row. Self 3. It will contain only 100 books. And this is all about center top and it is active. So right now, 3 rows I'm going to insert inside this table. And remember, this is the command actually we had written right here inside this if block. It means that first 
it will check that this table exists or not. So if this table does not exist then first it will create this table and after creating it will insert these data inside that table. If we make some formatting to these values, so pressing enter here, this is our first value, second value and the third value. All we have done now. So if I save all these changes, back to browser, go to admin dashboard, click on plugins and right now our plugin is deactivated. So first thing first, let's drop these two tables from our database. So select these two tables, go here, click on drop and press yes button. So there are no tables. So click on books management tool and plugin activated successfully. Back to table, database, reload this page and now the tables are created. Click on bookshelf. Now inside this table, as we can see that three rows automatically get inserted. And this is because actually we had created our code inside activate method. This concept will be used when we want some default values before doing something inside plugin. Let's say that we have a plugin and inside that plugin we have a concept of user roles. We have created a table on plugin activation, let's say about OWT underscore TBL user underscore roles. Inside that table, we want that three rows means inserted by default. So inside that table, let's say first user role, let's say super admin, second, let's say manager, third, let's say clerk. So all the users actually we can insert by default on the plugin activation. This is not only for the user roles or like countries. This concept is basically that if you want any default value on plugin activation then we can simply write our insert command right after means create table inside our plugin code. So successfully guys inside this video we had seen that how can we insert data in tables on plugin activation. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.